Hey babies, okay, now let me tell you something. I was recording in, in the middle, dead ass in the middle of my recording, and the recorder stopped, so. I gotta go. Wait, no, wait, that's not what I was trying to. Time out! I didn't click that, girl. X out of there, what the fuck? Oh my god. They're getting on my fucking nerve with this shit here. Okay, here we go. As y'all can see, loving bad updated. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna read this now because my son is gone and I can pay more attention now. And this is gonna be a part two, y'all, girl. All right, now, what do you want, Valentine? Ooh, <laughs> Ralph, this is my friend Cleo. Ralphie, this is my friend Cleo. Um, is he okay? You're drooling, Raphael. I'm Cleo Armstrong. Pleasure to meet you. Raphael Giovanni. The pleasure is all mine. Mm. Raphael, why are you faking a deep voice? What What do you mean, uh, little sister? This is my, uh, my voice is always this deep. No, it's not. You're faking a deep voice. <laughs> uh, Layla, por favor. Oh, Layla, por favor. Okay, come on, little sister. I'm taking you to mama. But I want to stay here and talk with Cleo and Raphael. Let's leave Cleo and Raffy alone for a little. Okay, little sister? <sighs> I'll see you later, Cleo. Oh, okay. Bye. I dropped Layla off with my mama and went to find Alex. Alex, are you in here? Diego? Diego, that's the one I like, right? Fat Valentina. What are you doing in here? I I was... I looked down and noticed safe in Diego's hand. I guess Alex didn't hide it as well as he thought. Shit. Are you trying to steal your, the safe, weren't you? You don't understand, Valentina. It's been four years since they took her. Sophia? Yeah, Sophia. Will you tell me about her? I, I can't. I can't talk about her. It's too hard. Look, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But I can't let you have the safe unless you tell me who she is. You will let me have it if, if I tell you about Sophia? Is this a choice? Alex would help hate me, but yes, I would. Okay, but why? Let's just say I have a good morals despite my upbringing. Her full name is uh Maria Sophia. Maria Sophia. I don't know, we always call her Sophia. Um, is she your girlfriend or something? No, she's our youngest sister. Russians have your younger sister? Yes. She was taken four years ago when she was about your age. What happened? How was she taken? It happened three years ago. If she was taken four years ago, how did it happen three years ago, girl? Luckily, I was able to obtain security camera tapes from the day she was taken. Um, Sophia was always innocent, kind-hearted one in our family. She loved everyone she met. Uh, she loved everyone she met and what? And was never uh, cruel. I guess that's why we, uh, I loved her so much. Bianca didn't like Sophia that much. In fact, I'm pretty sure Bianca hated Sophia. I guess it was because Bianca wanted to be the center of everyone's attention, but she didn't like the way I loved Sophia. But of course, Sophia loved Bianca. Sophia looked up to Bianca. Bianca was her older sister after all. One night, Bianca and Sophia went to the club together. Bianca. Bianca, what? I'm, I'm not comfortable here. Can we please leave? Unbelievable. You're the one that begged me to hang out with you, but, but I meant I a movie or a dinner. I don't want to go to a fucking movie or a dinner, Sophia. <laughs> God, you're getting more and more, uh, more selfish every day. Bitch. Can we at least talk to each other, Bianca? Hey, baby, you ready to leave? Of course I am. Wait, you're leaving? Um, yeah, but, 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 but what, Sophia? <laughs> Sophia, <laughs> you can't honestly expect me to hang out with my little sister all night. We just got here, and I'm ready to leave with this sexy man. Please don't leave me here alone, Bianca. You're, you're my right home, man. God, stop being such a baby, Sophia. You're almost 18. You can take care of yourself. Come on, baby, let's go. She's a bitch. 
Mm. Why are you crying, baby? I'm I'm not crying. Yes, you are, babe. And it breaks my heart when such a beautiful girl like you is upset. You you don't know, even know me. Yeah, you're already breaking my heart. Who are you? Uh, you can call me Ray. Um, Ray and Maria talked for a while from the security footage. It seemed like they were hitting it off. It's getting awful late. Um, I don't want this night to end. Maybe you could join me to my house for a cocktail. I better not, Ray. My brothers are probably worried about me, but I would love to see you again. Likewise, baby. Can't, let me walk you to your car. I came with my sister, but she left. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll get you a taxi. So, uh, are you going to, uh, wait, you sure you don't want to come to my place, Sophia? No, I really shouldn't. My brothers would. How do you know my name? What do you mean? I, I didn't tell you my name. I never tell strangers my name because. Uh-uh. He grabbed Sophia's arm and twisted it, twisted them behind her back. She cried out in pain as he pulled her while. Uh, was as he pulled out the cloth behind his pocket, he held the cloth against her nose and mouth, and the co the cloth uh gave up strong chemical odor. How the hell would you know? Sophia knew he was trying to drug her. She wasn't trying to take uh I guess whatever the hell. Sophia struggled against his hoe. She tried and tried so hard not to inhale the drug, but Jay twisted her arm even harder, called to her to yell in pain and breathe. And the substance. Slowly everything started to blur and fade away. Why? Why are you doing this to me, Ray? Jay leaned forward and whispered gently into Sophia's ear. Sorry, babe, but the name's not Ray. Yeah, Nikolai got the girl. I was never able to find out who the guy was who took her. Um, or what he whispered in her ear. I know he made a call to Nikolai after Sophia passed out, which is how we know the Russians have her. But why why would he take why would they take her? The Russians wanted us to come to become allies with them, Miguel and I decided uh, we didn't like the Russians way of life and declined their offer. And when we decided <sighs> To ally with the Callahans, the Russians' moral and uh, the immortal enemy. Um, they decided to take revenge on the Vega family in the worst way possible by taking my little flower. Oh, Diego, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I need her back, Valentina. Please, I need her back. Take the safe, Diego. R really? Yes, really. You better hurry before Alex is coming here. Thank you, Valentina. You're truly a beautiful person. Diego picks the safe up and starts to walk to the door, then suddenly, the sound of a gunshot echoed through the room. Diego, Valentina, run. I can't leave you. Oh my god, Diego, you got shot. Just fucking run. What? What? She, she, well, clearly, she would be running towards the person who fucking shot her ass. The intruder uh, crashes toward me and tackles me to the ground. He uses one hand to pin over my head, my hands over my head, and uses his knees to dig into my legs. Dig my legs into place so I don't move. Oh, God, it hurt. God, it hurt. Um, I try to scream out, but his hand, he places his, his hand over my, um, his rough hands over my mouth. Well, roughly over my mouth. I struggle to get free, but it seems like my struggling just making matters worse. I'm defenseless. I'm weak. God, why am I so weak? Stay still, bitch. Okay, girl. That sounds like what? The masked man. The masked man walks over to the safe and picks it up. No, no, please. The masked man smacks at Diego, raises up his foot, then presses his foot down on Diego's bullet wound. Stop. Mm -hmm. uh, the masked man turns towards me slowly and smirks evilly at me. I gasp in fear and stare at his unusual sharp 
unusual sharp gray eyes unusually um fear courses through my body is i shudder involuntarily um the masked man leaves with the safe uh as he's leaving i see something slip out his pocket right next to my hand i look at uh, it looks like a box of green contacts all the masked men have a green a box of green contacts obviously he wants some green goddamn eyes child i think diego is unconscious that leaves me alone with the russian shit i think we should have some fun italian slut don't you no stop please i scream out loud hoping and praying someone would hear Shut the fuck up. The Russian balls his hands into a fist and punches me across the face. Immense pain radiates from my cheekbone to my mouth. I whimper as my vision starts to blur. I can taste the blood in my mouth. Alex, please save me. Suddenly I feel something warm and wet spray all over my face. <laughs> I look up and I see the Russian start staring at me. With a bullet hole in the middle of his forehead. He collapsed on on my body. Dead. I push his dead body off of me. And scramble up to a kneeling position. I look up and see Alex holding the gun. Staring at the dead body in rage and hatred. Foul shit. Baby, are you alright? What does it hurt? You, you killed him. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I did. He was trying to hurt you. I wish I gave the son of a bitch a slower death. P please help me up. <coughs> Fuck, Val, what happened to your face? The Russian punched me. But Alex, the Russians took the safe. You should go after them. Fuck the safe. All I fucking care about is you. Okay, they shot Miguel too. I think you should go help him. I'll call someone to help him. Right now, all I want to do is get you better. Alex picks me up bridal style and carries me out the door. It felt so good to be safe in his arms again. I rest my head on his chest as he carries me to our bedroom. Alex gently places me down on the bed and brings an ice pack and a first aid kit to me. He starts to generally press a, a ice pack on my bruised cheek and swollen lip. I whimper in pain as the tears filled my eyes. God, I was such a baby. First, I couldn't even defend myself, and now I was crying over some pain. I hated this. I hated myself. God, Alex must be so annoyed. Shh, I'm sorry, baby, but I don't want your cheek and lips to swell. I know I was just being a baby. No, you weren't. Oh, my God, you went through something horrific today. And it's all my fault. What? I should have been with you the whole time. I should have been there to protect you. I'm sorry, Valentina. I promise I'll protect you from now on. I'll never let this fucking happen again. Alex looks into my eyes. His expression sorrowful and guilt-written. Um, his beautiful emerald green stones. Eyes stone with uh, determination. Um, I place my hands on his cheek and stroke uh, my thumb across his cheek bone. Alex, this isn't your fault. Don't blame yourself for my mistake. But, shh, it's my turn to talk. I shouldn't have been in that room in the first place. I was looking for you and I saw Diego trying to steal the safe. Instead of immediately going to get you, I decided to listen to his story and see why he needed the safe so bad. And I was going to give it back to him. I'm sorry, Alex, I, I just couldn't bear the thought of Diego and Miguel not getting their beloved sister back. You are right. Sympathy is a is and guilt is a weakness. If I hadn't let my my morals cloud my judgment, we wouldn't have been here in the first place. I should have listened to you, Alex. I'm sorry. Baby, don't apologize for being a good person. It's who you are, and nobody can change that. Not even me, Alex. Yes, my God. Do you want? Uh, I want you to teach me how to fight. What? Yes, my goddamn time, bitch. You heard me, <laughs> baby. No, Alex. You don't understand. Today I felt so weak and defenseless. I can't. I couldn't do anything to help myself. And I hated it. I hated myself. And I'm tired of being some fragile girl who can't save herself. I'm tired of not being able to help myself when you're not here. Well, there. And I don't want something like this to ever happen again. So please, Alex, please teach me how to fight. 
Okay. You'll teach me? Yes, I'll teach you. Thank you, Alex. After Alex finished treating my wounds, I changed into my pajamas and I climb under the covers of my bed. I curl up into a ball and start to drift off to sleep. Suddenly, strong arms are pulling me against a warm, bare chest. Alex, what, are, what about the gala? I'd rather stay up here with you, my girl. Uh, I don't have it in me to protest. Plus, it feels so good to be in Alex's warm embrace. I fell asleep to a steady beat of uh, Alex's heart, feeling safe and warm. To be continued.